I have this 20 by 16 canvas. You can pick them up at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, most art stores. And I'm applying Snow Owl by Wise Owl Paint and allowing that to dry. Then I took a 14 by 11 board canvas and I'm also applying the Wise Owl Snow Owl and allowing that to dry. This one I believe I did pick up at the dollar store. You could sometimes uh, find them there. Now I'm taking this rubber paintbrush and this is called Creation Clay by Wise Owl. And I'm doing a square smaller than the size of the board. And this rubber brush just kind of gives a more of a texture and you're not going to get full coverage. Then I'm going in with the same rubber brush and a little bit of snow owl and pulling the two of them together. And I'm just getting this marbly textured unfinished palette here. Um, and I'm just kind of playing around with the, with the paint and pulling the creation clay and the white together without making it cohesive. Not so polished. And then I'm going to allow that to dry. Now I got this from Studio R12. It's stencils that have different uh, sizes and patterns of stripes, grain sack stripes. And I'm gonna pick one of the stripes, tape it down. I'm gonna use a foam roller that I picked up at Lowe's and our black. I'm gonna roll, the stencil is only so big, so I'm gonna have to replace it down to continue the stripe all the way down. I did hit that with a blow dryer so that I was able to lay it back down and finish off my stripes. Now you just want very little paint on that roller to avoid bleed through. And then I'm gonna make sure that that's fully dry before I move forward. So now I'm going back to the smaller board and I'm adding some cream by Wise Owl I'm not doing full coverage. So you could still see uh, the other colors underneath, but I just kind of wanted uh, this board to pop a little bit and be just a different shade than the one underneath. And now I'm gonna allow that to dry. Once that dried, I'm gonna place my board and then I'm gonna tape off. This is how I keep my measurements of where I wanna replace it down. I'm going to take some hot glue as my glue and now I have my taped in area that I can place my board back down and then remove your tape. I do have a piece of wood under my canvas so there's no movement. So this is a mesh stencil by um, a maker studio. You can find this at chalkitupfancy.com and it's called Words Like Honey. And it, I'm gonna cut off the top portion. This is what I'm gonna be using for today. And these mesh stencils are on this, um, they are adhesive and they are on this protective covering that once you peel them off, you kinda wanna keep. And again, I made my placement and I used my uh, painter's tape as a guide. I just removed my stencil from the protective backing. You wanna make sure you have that right there because you're gonna use it again to store your adhesive stencil. And I have a um, water nearby that when I'm done, I could place my stencil right in the water and clean it right away. This is our ink. Um, this is called Can't Never Could. This is her black ink. And I'm using um, our rubber spreaders. You can find these at chalkitupfancy.com. 
You can find the stencil at chocolateatfancy.com as well as the ink. And I decided to um, spread the ink on every portion except for the leaves on either side and the crown. Now when you're applying your ink, you want to give a little pressure so that the ink passes through the screen onto your canvas. But it's quite easy. And now I'm going to be using our yellow. It's called Over Yonder. And I'm going to use a paintbrush to paint that in because it's just a small area and it's the crown. And then you're going to immediately pull up your mesh stencil and you get a beautiful image. It always does a nice job. And then I immediately place my stencil in water to clean. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateatfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper, transfers, or mesh stencils, chocolateatfancy.com. Thank you so much.